episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for Four Good Days, aka uh, how I wish my all my weekends were. Oh, um, be beautiful. Yes, it would. But anyways, that's eleven day weeks aside. Uh, no, it's a pretty interesting premise. It's based off a true story. Uh, Glenn Close plays a mother who has to take care of her um dr her, uh, daughter played by Mila Kunis getting out of rehab. Yeah, so it's like in a way where she they did they they're kind of going through what I guess the mother mother considers their their uh, you know four best days you know for each other for you know for each other that's what it is because she the, her, her daughter is pretty much uh, deals with substance abuse that's what it is and uh, like you said like I was just saying before it's just like you got Hibbley Elegy where you got a great performance from Glenn Close. It sounds like that's what she's trying to push for for this one, possibly. Um, so I don't know. We have, to, we have to find out. But you got Mila Kunis playing also a really good dramatic role for her as well. So mm -hmm. let's just dive into this for the official trailer for Four Good Days. So here we go. The song it makes it feel like it's like at first I'm thinking okay we're gonna get a good powerful you know trailer or something. And don't get me wrong, we're not saying it's a bad trailer. We're saying it is a I, good powerful no, trailer. No, but it's, just, it's the song's a bit much. The song is just it kind of just makes it uh, throw it's like throwing it like as if it's a very cheap. So many want movie. the music. <laughs> the problem with the music in this chair is they're making you want to feel like yeah you feel empathetic and honestly. I was feeling that before the music fucking same started. Same here. I say, same here. It's like, but the moment that music kicked in, I was like, because Jesus oh, God, Christ, man. the makeup they had to put on Mila Kunis to make her look like somebody who's gone through drug addiction. Holy crap! You blink and you didn't. Re you wouldn't realize it's Mila Kunis. Yeah, it's it's the type of thing where it's like, like you said, like like, like I said, pretty much uh, is that the, tri the the film looks good. It really does. You know, <laughs> the powerful performances between Glenn Close and Mila Kunis and stuff. 
stuff like that. But like I said, I think the only problem we had was just the way they did the trailer, and that is the music for the trailer. If they wouldn't, if they had maybe other type of music, or maybe just no music, just had more dramatic music instead, just the instrumental maybe, then I'll be fine. But the, the, the song was just being blare way out there. Yeah, you know? it's just you know, because I'm trying to go ahead. Oh, gosh. Like they want. This is why I want this trailer to make feel. I'm gonna do the test. This will be like. This is a very touching story. The song. You know what the song does? This is a very touching story. <laughs> and don't get us wrong. Feel emotions. <laughs> don't get us wrong. The story. Like I said, the movie looks good. And, uh, and I'm not. Well, we're not downing the song. It's just that sometimes you, the combo for the trailer and the song sometimes usually don't fit. Sometimes you know. It sounds like they had the song. They're like, let's find a true story and put this. It attaches to a. It attaches song. Like, be a quota. You know, it's like we need. We had this great song, but we need something that's a true story, powerful story that goes along with it, it makes sense with the song. You know, it's like here we go, and it sounds like I think it was like Reba McIntyre singing. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I, I think that's what it was. I, have to look I it can't up. hear myself think through half of this trailer. It sounds song like no, I, I think it was a Reba McIntyre song, but but still, but, you know, going back to the movie itself, besides the trailer, how bad it was, how badly the, the the they did the trailer, the movie itself looks like it, it's going to be. Yeah, good. I mean, if anything, like, it's going to be carried by the performances yeah. of both Mila Kunis and Glenn. Close. Yeah, Glenn Close. You have you know the you know the two actresses that you know, especially Glenn Close. You know, you have you know somebody that Mila can bounce off of and stuff like that. But oh, yeah, it's like the, their performances are, are what care what's carrying the story, what's moving the story along, and it's, and it's through what they have to get through. Especially Glenn Close, you know, as playing this mother who was just trying with her daughter, trying to help her, you know, like she said, you know, she's like, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm, I'm the eagle eye mom, I'm, I'm, I'm the one watching her, but at the same time, I'm trying to keep my distance because I have to show my trust for her at the same time, you know, so it's... And like I said, it's it's something that I, I definitely wouldn't mind watching. I mean, I hope they don't have the blaring at a certain point in the song and in the film. Maybe just start to credits. Yeah, I'll understand that. <laughs> but like I said, that's the only problem I think we have with this. It's just the song was just blaring right right in in, in this trailer. It was like, could, could we either get rid of the song or just keep it instrumental? Yeah, most just songs it like this usually connect me, and I go, okay, I get it's it. The way they it goes it up, with though. it, but here it just in your it's a, ear. It's the type of thing where it's like somebody decided, let's blast the song up to like twenty. You know, instead of trying to keep it at the same level, because there are times I'm like, okay, wait, what? I'm, I'm losing it here. It's like I'm like now I'm after I have to pay attention to what they're saying. You know, it's like I think that would help me get through the Dog's Purpose trailer if they just blared that song. <laughs> I would have felt less emotion and go, why the fuck are, am I going deaf right now yeah. in this trailer? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that they either would have lowered it a bit, or even just maybe just have the instrumental. That's it. Just the instrumental. The instrumental would have helped. I think would have been still been would have good. And still have the song in the movie or maybe during the credits, because it's like, okay, there we go. Or even even any music video for this, you know, there you go. It's like, okay, there you go, you had your point there. But like I said, for the film itself, it looks good. It looks really good, and like we said, it's gonna be carried by their performances. And I hope it does well enough. So other than that, folks, we need a channel. You can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about films like this, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Oh, man, what is it? Uh, let us know what you guys saw of this trailer. Do you agree? Do you think that they could have just left uh, the instrumental in or at least turn down the volume or notch on it? Um, you know, was the song that annoying for you or did it bother you too much? I mean, we're not talking about the the film we're just talking about mainly the, the song you know in, in the trailer itself or even the trailer itself that's about it with the song you know uh, and of course what do you guys think of the film does it look like it's going to be a, a really good powerful film a good perform you think they're going to deliver powerful performances for both mila and uh glenn i mean let us know in the comments down below put down what you of our reaction overall but most importantly thank you for watching so until next time i'm chris i'm christopher this has been a very good day fill episode of srb see you later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.